Have you ever wondered what might happen if your teeth were long enough to pierce your brain? Welcome to the undersea universe of the aptly named fangtooth fish, a creature whose grotesque mouth has everybody talking. Despite its bizarre and unforgettable appearance, this deep sea dweller is still one of Earth's biggest mysteries. That's what happens when you lurk undisturbed in waters that can be nearly 5,000 meters in depth. How does the fangtooth fish make itself nearly invisible to both predators and prey? Why has it developed alien-like bodily functions to help it survive? Most importantly, what exactly does it do with those fangs? We know the fangtooth's territory covers the Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian Oceans, plus the deeper waters off the coast of Australia and the British Isles. And when you look at its bulbous head in dimly lit water, you'd be forgiven for assuming this fish must be huge. So why aren't there stories of these monstrous carnivores and their prickly scales taking deadly bites out of divers? Well, it turns out this underwater aberration really isn't that big. Its teardrop-shaped body is only 15 to 18 centimeters long. Those teeth? They're still an impressive five to seven and a half centimeters long, which gives the fang tooth bragging rights for having the largest teeth when compared to its body size of any animal in the ocean. They're also long enough that in order to close its jaws, it needs protective pockets built into the roof of its mouth to act as holsters so its brain doesn't get impaled due to its underbite. These weapons might not play the role you think they would when the fang tooth is on the prowl for food at depths ranging from 500 meters to 2,000 meters. Because of its ability to literally open wide, combined with an oversized head, prey one-third its size, that includes shrimp and small squid, can often be swallowed whole, with barely a bite needed after being speared. All of this brings us to a very important question. How does an animal with awkwardly positioned eyes that looks like a floating blob of ugly find anything to eat in water so dark it's nearly impossible to see? The fangtooth is a very active hunter, and vision has nothing to do with its success. It relies on scaly skin scientists classify as ultra-black in color that consists of concentrated pigment capable of absorbing 99.5% of light, no matter if it's from the sun or a nearby glowing jellyfish. Combine this cloak of invisibility with chemical receptors located along the sides of its body that enable it with the underwater version of a sense of smell, and you have a predator that usually bumps into its target before eating it. This handy lateral line of sense organs can also detect nearby vibrations caused by the slightest movement of both friends or foe. And by friends, we mean their next meal. This ultra black skin is also what keeps the fang tooth from being eaten by much larger marlin and tuna, which will take advantage of its habit of heading up to shallower waters when the dinner bell rings. They can't eat you if they don't know you're there, right? What we want to know is, what would happen if the fangtooth crossed paths with another bizarre animal of the deep, the vampire squid? Because of the depths the fangtooth usually lives at, there's still a lot to be learned about it. Scientists still don't know what its population numbers are or much about its reproductive habits. There's even doubts about how much they might weigh. It has a nightmare-inducing face with spears protruding from its jaw. It's what helps make this freak of the deep a crazy creature.